Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakhakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be. Ba'in Hada, Sham name, Yahweh Shai, meaning Mudan's son, meaning He delivered, He saved, Rakhakwadash, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and others, great most of their well, peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom and Ababa Ball, back at it again. When the let's do the spirit of power of Yahweh Basham Shai. Lord willing, his lesson is edifying. And this is just an exhortation, a reminder. You know, don't marvel if the people of the world don't show you any love, if the people of the world hate you. You know, to be honest, if the people of the world hate you, you're doing something right. You know, you got that saying, if you ain't got haters, you ain't popping. Well, in a spiritual sense, if you ain't got people hating on you for righteousness' sake, then, you know, not saying you might not be doing, you know, you can still be doing the right thing and the Lord can have it set up where he has certain people to have favor on you. But somewhere along the way, eventually there are going to be people who hate you, who dislike you, all right, who have an evil eye towards you. And you ain't do nothing wrong to them. You're just being you through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shemel Shai, following after the Lord in truth and sincerity and in spirit. And they hate him, you know, but really it's because they got them demons on them. And them demons is working on their mind to make them to make them hate you ultimately especially if they ain't got nothing to hate you for they like king david said they hated me without a cause and they ultimately did that to our lord yahweh shy but that applies to us too okay that applies to us too and you know king david also said you know my enemies are more than the hairs uh my enemies are more in number than the hairs of my head man <laughs> you know so it's like it's like we're constantly you know, on the watch to see who really, who really appreciates us and really who shows us love. Okay. And it'd be, it'd be a small gesture. This is how, you know, we get hated on a lot because somebody will do a small gesture for us and we'll be like, yeah, may the Lord have mercy on them. Like something as small as saying, you know, Hey, have a good day. You know, and, and you can tell they're genuine. You know what I'm saying? They got a good spirit. You're like, Hey, may the Lord have mercy on that person. Or, you know, we walk into an establishment and they hold the door for us, right? And, you know, you can tell that it was genuine and sincere. You know what I'm saying? That's how you, we'd, be, we'd be ready to be like, yeah, may the Lord have mercy on that person. You know what I'm saying? You know, because we'd be, we, we'd be so used to people hating on us in this, in this thing of ours, man. You know, really, we're, we're, we're expecting you to hate us. We're expecting you to betray us. You know what I'm saying? To try to persecute us, to have an evil eye. Alright? We're caught off. I ain't gonna say we caught off guard, but we're we're surprised if you do the opposite. <laughs> you know, going to show you how much hate we receive in this truth for doing the right thing by the Lord. You know, because people can tell that the spirit is on you. They might not know exactly what it is, but they know something's different about you. And they know and a lot of people can tell that the favor of the Lord is upon brethren, you know, and, and sisters too, who, who believe in Yahweh Bashem Shai wholeheartedly, all right, and walk uprightly for the men and the women and the children, you know, people can tell that the favor of the Lord is upon us. And some people, some people, you know, they be in tune to a certain degree to where when, when brothers get around, they start talking about the Bible, they start talking about God, you know, and brothers won't even have garments on, you know what I'm saying? Brothers will just be in, Civilian clothing, so to speak, but the spirit cannot be hid. As the scripture say, "You are a city set on a hill that cannot be hid." The spirit too manifest, the spirit too real. But people be like, "Damn!" They start talking about God. They, you know, they start getting zealous, and it's just like, "Hey, that's the power of Yahweh Shemashai." All praise to Yahweh Shemashai. So, vice versa, you got some people when we come around, they start acting weird. You know, they start getting anxious. They start being frantic. They start, you know being uh easily irritated you know they, they they're not patient with us they got demons on them you know they looking at they keep looking at us like you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know and it's like some niggas you be around you can feel them you can feel them plotting on you you know and like when i get around certain niggas in the world and they be walking behind me i'd be like in this nigga mind through the spirit you know it's like you could feel that in his mind, he's like, man, I could just tack this nigga from behind. He won't even see me. It's like you could feel that energy, man. You could feel that tension. But we know Yahweh Shemashai got us protected, man. But hey, what that they felt the same way about Yahweh Shai. It says some thought to lay hands on him, but none, but none did. 
you know, you got you got people out there who, who be thinking thoughts like that. Like, man, I could just I could just stab this nigga. Oh, why do you about smell shy? Goddamn iguana running across the street, man. <laughs> Hey, man, hey, you know, it's all, it's all the will of the Lord. It's all the will of the Lord. You know, the spirits be, spirits be active, man. Okay, and that iguana probably didn't even really want to run across the street. Probably a demon hopped on his ass running across the street. Throw off the lesson. But it's okay, you know. They want to straight. I ain't hit him. All right, I don't like to, I, I hate roadkill, but that's besides the point. You know, but hey, you know, the scavenger animals got to eat too. All right, it's the circle of life, they say. To the kingdom. You know, you ain't gonna have to worry about road killing the kingdom. Okay, but not to go off on a tangent. You know, the point is what, man? That, you know, don't marvel if the people of this world hate you or are plotting against you. You should expect it. Okay? You should expect it, man. You know? And certain things are aligned in the spirit where Yahweh Bashmashai has people in the world hating on you so he can judge them. Okay? Believe it or not. The Lord will put a demon on somebody. Or allow a demon to hop on somebody to have an evil eye towards you to give the Lord a reason to judge him, man. Not that the Lord didn't have a reason before, but you know, that's the way that he wanted to play out. Okay? So don't marvel. Yahweh Shai warned us of these things. Yahweh Shai told us plenty of times in the scriptures that we would be hated, we would be persecuted. The servant is not greater than his master. You know, if they persecuted me, they would persecute you also. If they kept my sayings, they would keep yours also. What does it say in Ezekiel? It says, the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, because the house of Israel will not hearken unto me. That was the Heavenly Father speaking, man. So, you know, it's really not a shocker when the people of the world start acting like demons towards us, man. It's more so a shocker when they don't act like a demon towards us. You know, and in this truth, man, you have to you have to be okay with being hated. Goddamn, another iguana in the freaking road. All right, in this truth, you got to be okay with being hated, man. You got to be okay with you know being persecuted and it's annoying at times you know because you just want to chill and when i say and when i'm saying chill i'm saying like you just want to be at peace you know what i'm saying but the way this spiritual warfare is set up now is not the time to be at peace we're in a time of war spiritually and physically you know so we got to stay circumspect man and just know that we do have enemies okay and a lot of times they don't necessarily come directly they come indirectly all right but you got to be able to peep that and if you can't peep it pretty out i'm gonna try to give you the discernment all right and the holy spirit to be able to see when a person really got your best interest at heart and when a person just plotting on you man a lot of motherfuckers be plotting man but how wish i told us these things would happen you know and the fact that people are plotting on you you must be doing the right thing the scriptures say well unto you when all men shall speak well of you for so did their fathers unto the false prophets man Okay, this is John 17 and 14. It says, I have given them thy word and the world hath hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. You see, so like the Lord said, he gave us, he gave us his word and the world hated us, man. You know, but like the Lord said, we're not of the world even as he is not of the world. So there's a reason why the world doesn't like us. You know? It's because we're not of this world. All right, what's the scripture saying? If you were of the world, the world will love his own. But because you are not of the world and I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. So it's not a, it's not a, a surprise or a shocker, okay? It's a sign that Yahweh Bashem is dealing with us. I believe there's a precept in Titus where it says, and nothing terrified by your adversaries, which to them is a manifest token of their perdition, but to you of salvation. Okay? So if we got wicked adversaries for righteousness sake, if we're suffering for righteousness sake, that's just a manifest sign that you how about Shemesh is getting ready to judge them, man, and destroy them, you know? But for us, a sign of salvation. Okay? And, you know, as an Israelite, most of us, you know, we want to be appreciated by our people. We want to be shown love from our people. But these ain't our people. Even though they are Israelites by DNA, they're not Israelites in spirit, man. They're heathens in spirit. So they're going to treat us like a heathen would. Like your brother Yeshai be saying, 
Don't expect a nigga in the world to treat you like a brother, man. And really, that's a great, great piece of advice, man. That is a profound statement because once you see a nigga in the world do you dirty, you like, man, like, what the hell be on kind? You be hurt. But it's like, what did you expect? Uh, he's a nigga in the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Business as usual, you know? So you have to learn to put your feelings to the side in this ministry, man, because, you know, you're going to get hated. But if you, like uh, Winston Churchill said, if I'm not mistaken, which I don't, I, I, I'm not sure if Winston Churchill was a Jake. He probably didn't need a mic, but nonetheless, he said, uh, if you stop at every, if you're on a journey and you stop at every dog barking at you, you'll never get to where you need to be. And that's real shit. That's real shit. So basically saying, don't worry about the haters, man. Okay? Don't worry about the haters. Keep doing what you need to do. It's John 17 and 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. I'm going to read 14 again. John 17 and 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. That's right, man. So we pray, how about you, keep us from the evil of this world, man, so that our souls don't get tainted with this wickedness. Like it says in Wisdom Solomon, the fourth chapter, Enoch, please, well, it doesn't necessarily specify who it's talking about, but we know through the spirit, it's talking about Enoch, but it says he pleased the most high. Therefore, the Lord hasted to take him away, lest deceit should beguile his soul, you know, and the bewitching of not even doth obscure things that are honest, man, roughly paraphrasing. That's Wisdom of Solomon, the fourth chapter. So in this flesh, your flesh can get influenced. All right. But through you, how about protecting us from the evil influences of this world? We're not being overtaken by this world. OK, the Wadi Abashmashai. But this world is, is influential for your flesh. Like you'll hear a lot of through songs and it'll be catchy. But, you know, the song is through the song over here, rapping about adultery, rapping about whoredom. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. But it make your head nod, though. Right. You know, and then eventually your flesh going to want to sing it because it's catchy. But then you keep singing it, you're putting that in your subconscious brain. And next thing you know, you might forego those things, man. But see, through the blessing of Yahweh Shem Hashai, as the scriptures say, there's no enchantment against Jacob. So the Lord protects us from the evil of this world. That's just an example, okay? That's just an example. The list goes on and on and on, all right? You know, because one way Satan tries to attack you is through your senses, your fleshly senses, man, all right? And your thoughts, too. Okay, but Satan could attack you in many different ways. All right, he could plague your body with a sickness. He could put evil thoughts in your mind. All right, foolish thoughts in your mind. You know, he can try to uh, influence you to do wicked things. You know, so on and so forth, man. All right, but Yahab Ashmashah is the reason why we're not giving over unto Satan. What did the Lord tell Satan concerning Job? He said, look, you can do whatever you want with Job, but don't kill him. You know, I'm, I, I didn't even roughly paraphrase the scripture, but that's basically what the Lord said. You know, all that he has is dying, but, you know, basically don't don't spare his life, you know. And sure enough, Satan took damn near everything from Job. But the one thing he couldn't take was the Holy Spirit and he couldn't take the blessing of the truth of Yahweh Shemashah away from Job. Why? Because the Lord was covering Job, man. Eh? And that covering is upon us, Lord willing, we be a part of that elect number. All right. And no matter what we go through, Yahweh Shemashah keeps us from the evil of this world. This, uh, and Lord willing, the Lord continue to do that for us. You know, because without him, we can't, we can't do it. Okay. You know, because a lot of Jake can't handle a backlash. A lot of Jake can't handle somebody hating on him, you know, because... You know, of course, you want to be shown love, but it's like, fuck them niggas. They don't like me. Why don't you like me? For for righteousness sake? Okay, cool. I don't give a damn. That's your problem, nigga. And, you know, that's just the type of mindset I don't want to have. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't care. You know, to be honest, I like it. You know, not that I would rather it. I would rather us be in the kingdom and be at peace with Yasharala. But. I say I like it because it's like it puts me in my bag. I'm like, oh, yeah, bet. Or, oh, you don't like me because I'm doing righteousness? Bet. I know how to move around you now, you know? <laughs> and 
And, you know, like Scripture said, King David behaved himself wisely. So, you know, and that's another thing, too. You don't got to show your hand to the people in this world. You can know somebody hates you, but you can still play a fool. All right. Play a fool to catch a fool. You know, I'm not saying you got to fake the funk and smile on somebody's face deceitfully. You could do that if you want to. though. All right. And, you know, I know the word deceitfully comes kind of comes off with a negative connotation, but it's not necessarily that you're being wicked. You're just being subtle in righteousness. Wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. So sometimes you got to play a nigga, man. You know, you know, a nigga don't like you for righteousness sake. And the best thing to do really is to stay is to remain peaceable, man. And you'll see how Bashan Shai deliver him into your hands slowly but surely, man. I've seen it. I've seen it. Especially when you're not recompensing evil for evil. Now, sometimes the spirit have it set up where you do, you know what I'm saying, snap on a nigga or let a nigga know what it is. Okay? But, like, if he's coming at you wickedly and you remain peaceable and he's rewarding your good with evil, the Lord will judge him for that, man. Okay, and it works both ways, too, because if somebody's coming at you with peace and good and you reward them evil, the Lord will judge you for that, too. So you want to constantly be circumspect on how you deal with people, man. You know, it's Colossians chapter three, verse one. It says, if ye then be risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above where Mashiach sitteth on the right hand of the most high. Right. And that's the thing. Our mind is set. Our mindset is set in the heavens, man. That's what we're worried about. We're not worried about the things of this earth, man. All this shit is going to pass away. The fashion of this world passes away. It says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For you are dead and your life is hid with Mashiach in the Most High. Right. We're not truly living life right now. Okay. Our life is on reserve. You see, so of course we're going to be hated of this world. Of course people of this world ain't going to show no love to you. Like the other day I was walking past camp, right? This last camp we had, I was walking past camp and I was, you know, I was by myself. Of course, save your house by Shai being with me, you know, the Wadi by Shai. All right, you know, because we're never alone. You know what I'm saying? The angels are always around. Your house by Shai's presence is always around, whether you feel it or not. The Lord is always around. All right, but nonetheless, the point being, uh, I'm walking and I'm looking around, right? And people, nobody was paying attention to me. And not that I'm like thirsty for attention, like, oh, pay attention to me. But it just like, it kind of felt like I was a ghost, man. You know, it was like people just didn't give a shit about me, you know? And and my, at first my flesh was like, damn, ain't nobody saying, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody showing love. Like, what the fuck? You know? Eve ain't looking, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then I was like, hey, they're in the world. They're in the world, you know? So really they, they just doing whatever a worldly person would do. And they don't even recognize us because they don't recognize the how about Shemel Shai, man. Because our life is hid with Yahweh Bashem El Shai. So, you know, we're not going to live our best life on this side. Okay? You're not always going to get acknowledged on this side. And that's okay. Because we understand the bigger picture, man. But that's why when Yahweh Shai returns, as it says in verse 4, when Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. That's when we're going to truly live our best life. That's when we're going to truly be appreciated. That's when we're going to be glorified and given praise and fame in every land we've been put to shame, man. You know, this first John chapter three, verse one, behold, what manner of love the father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Right. You know how much I gave us the privilege to be called the sons of God, man. That's a big deal. So, you know, the balance to that is the balance to that is <laughs> we're going to get shitted on. We're going to get humiliated. We're not going to always be acknowledged. You know what I'm saying? And that's teaching us character. That's also teaching us to prove our faith in Yahweh Bashem Shai. Like, look, Lord, you know, I'm not doing this for the clout. I'm not doing this for attention. I'm doing this sincerely because I fear you and I want to be, I don't want to do right by you, Lord. You know? Because at the end of the day, none of that shit fucking matters. The fame, the glory, uh, acknowledgement from Eve, all of that, it's not worth it. It's not even worth comparison to our salvation, man. Yeah, it feels good to your flesh. But what is it really worth, man? It's vanity at the end of the day. Okay? And we really want the Lord to acknowledge us. That's that's all that matters, man. When Yahweh Bashmel Shai acknowledges you, when Yahweh Bashmel Shai gives you glory and praise, right? You know, 
That's what fucking matters, man. Because like the apostles be saying, man is fickle. A man can praise you, worship you one day, the next day hate your guts, man. So, to, so we want to get the praise of you. How about you, shy, man? That's what we want. Because that praise is everlasting and it's actually valuable. All right? And like I said, we're not doing this for clout. And if you're doing this for clout, you're not in the right spirit. You're not supposed to be in the truth to be seen of men, to be popular, you know, to be that nigga in Israel where everybody look at you like, yeah, I'm him. Yeah, I, I'm the best teacher in Israel. Nah, scripture says, seek not of the Lord preeminence, man. Neither of the king's seat of honor. So you ain't doing this to be seen of men, trying to be uh, giving eye service, being man pleasers. No, we're doing this to be seen of Yahweh by Shema Shai, to show the Lord our appreciation for him and for the Lord to reciprocate that, man, you know? Which really, we need him. He doesn't need us. But I'm saying, the Lord is going to show us some appreciation too. Like, look, well done, my faithful servant. I see, I see, I see what you know, how you handled the humility. Right? Now, here, come have some honor. <laughs> Call him by Shemel Shai. You know? This is uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Going back to Colossians, the third chapter. When Mashiach shall appear, then we're going to appear with him also in glory. So just like how Yahweh Shai is going to come back in that glorified body, he's going to come and change us from our vile bodies into that glorified body. We're going to see him as he is. So when you get that new body, it's hard not to give that new body acknowledgement. Like the scripture say, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. You know, Psalms 110 and 3. It's going to be hard not to acknowledge the power of Yahweh Bashmashai upon us in that day when we get the new bodies and we get raised up with that spiritual power, man. They're going to acknowledge them. They're going to be willing to acknowledge them, you know. But right now, Lord the Lord say, thou worm Jacob. We a worm, man. Like the brother Karab said, relying on my faith in the Lord because I'm a worm, man. And that's a fact, you know. So a worm is a humble animal or insect creature, you know, it's a, it's, it's a, it's an animal of humility. If you really think about it, cause it's defenseless, it's defenseless, man. But yet Yahweh Bashmel Shai is our defense. So we're not without hope. Okay. And that's why it says in verse three, and every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. So what does that mean? We got this hope of the kingdom of heaven, the salvation, the promises, you know, so on and so forth. So guess what? We're purifying ourselves. We're going through the fire. We're walking uprightly to the best of our ability, trying to purify our spirits so that we can be uh, pure like Yahweh Bashem As scripture say, be ye holy for I, for I am holy. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, I believe that's Matthew 5. Okay. So that's the point, you know, and sometimes you're going to be hated, bro. It's okay. You just have to learn. Here it is. Uh, Matthew 5 and 48. Be therefore perfect, even as your father, which in heaven is perfect. And there's another scripture where it says, be holy for I am holy. I know there's another one that says that as well. All right. I think it might be in, uh, in the Torah, the Tawarah, but I thought it was in the New Testament too. First Peter 1 and 16, it says, because it is written, be holy for I am holy. Right. I think that's also in Deuteronomy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe it's not Deuteronomy. Leviticus 20 and 20 and 26, it says. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have severed you from other people that ye should be mine. Right. And that's what Yahweh Bashmashai has done for us. He's made us holy. Holy meaning Kodash is separate, set apart. He set us apart from the world. The scripture say the Lord set apart him that is godly for himself. So we're not, you know, this world is not going to share us with Yahweh Bashmashai. Yahweh Bashmashai, God has reserved all for himself. So guess what? You're not going to be lauded like you were in the world 
and then be half foot in the truth, getting lauded too. No, 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 no. It's all coming from the Lord, period. The Lord got us reserved for himself, man. So the world can't have us, man. Not everybody, I said this last night, you know, not everybody can have me, okay? But that applies to us. Lord willing, we be a part of that elect number. Not everybody can have us, man. We are the Lord's. Whether we live or we die, we are the Lord's, man. Okay? So with that being said, guess what? This world can't have you, man. This world can't have you. You're the Lord's servant. You know? The Lord got you reserved for himself. So the world is going to hate you for that reason. But that's okay, because guess what? You're the Lord's possession. This is uh, Leviticus... There's another one. There's another one. Leviticus 19 and 2. There's a few of them. Leviticus 19 and 2. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel and say unto them, Ye shall be holy, for I, the Lord, your power, am holy. Right. That's right, man. You know, so that's the point of that right there. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up with that, man. All right? Don't marvel if the world hates you. Don't even worry about it. Okay? This is, this is how it's supposed to be. Okay? If a person in the world doesn't hate you, more than likely they probably are the elect too. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying there ain't some two-thirds of our people who don't show us some form of love. But at the end of the day, you know, we're going to see how long that lasts. Because when all hell breaks loose, we're going to see who really loves you and who doesn't. All right? But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up with that. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakaq Wadash, the honors to the apostle of this great most and every well, peace and blessings to the elect nation of Israel. Go say Shalom, Baba Ba, Kwame Yashirala.